Hi everyone, welcome back to Journal with Dolly. Um, it's me, Holly. Um, and welcome to today's video, which is going to all be about magazines. Um, I always post on my Instagram, probably the main thing that I post is um, that I'm cutting up magazines because honestly it's one of my most favourite pastimes with journaling and all that kind of thing. Um, and I decided to ask you guys if you wanted to know anything about how I use my magazines, you know, where I get them from, blah blah blah. So I asked some questions and I did get some um, and a lot of these were repeated to be honest. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to answer your questions. Oh, sorry, I'm like, blacking around a little bit there. Um, yeah, I'm going to answer, answer, answer your questions um, and hopefully kind of help you use magazines in your journals more because honestly, it's a great resource. Um, there's, it's going to be a really, really super cheap way of you using um, craft materials in your journals and stuff. By the way, I don't know why it keeps doing this weird out of focus thing. Can you see it's doing that like going in and out? That should stop when I actually show you stuff. Um, so sorry if it's making me feel a little bit weird because it is me. And just another disclosure, um, you might hear something in some noise in the background. It's just the washing machine. <laughs> um, the washing machine's on and also it's absolutely chucking it's down outside and the window's in front of me. Um, and yeah, so that's, you might be able to hear that as well, I don't know. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So the first question that I got was how do I use um, my magazine clippings in my journal um, and I use them in lots and lots of different ways and usually what I like to do is cut out pictures and stuff which I like um, and also things that I think I will use in the journal so I've just bookmarked a few pages here that I want to show you this is a bit of a sneak peek again um, so the first way that I use them is here um, and this is a magazine cut out and so is this and it's because we went out for burgers so it's that simple in terms of if we went out for burgers I'll stick some burger pictures down and I think it just kind of shapes the page really nice and adds a little bit of something quirky as well I don't want to show you too much because obviously this is a sneaky peeky um, this one is when my sister came up um, for, the, for the night and we got um, milkshakes so I cut out this picture of um, some milkshakes, this is actually out of a newspaper, I don't know if you can see, it's not glossy at all, um, and yeah, I, I just stuck those in because I thought it kind of matched the theme. Hopefully this is getting you excited for the flip through that I will eventually do when this has got its writing But the thing is, I've just got these new nails on, I did mention this in my other video, and I can't write very well with them like it's I'm, I can craft fine but use the pen I find it really really difficult so um yeah so what I'm gonna get them redone in about two weeks time and um, so flip through will be in about two weeks when I've got them a bit shorter because look that is too long for me so I'm gonna get them shorter and then it should be okay <laughs> um but I don't I don't like showing the page with no writing on I think it just makes the page look better when the writing's all there um, so this is a magazine clip in, it says these women are changing the world, this was all about when I went to see my nana and my mum and my sister, so it was all about like women and blah blah blah, um, and that's why I stuck that there. So I use words, I use big lettering, I use, you know, quirky pictures, I keep everything. Um, yeah, so that's just some of the ways that I use. But another question I got was, do um, pages get chunky? I don't know what you mean by that. <laughs> I don't know if you mean when I've stuck them in my journal if it gets chunky. Yeah, they do. Um, that's about not even halfway and it's already a bit of a chunk itself. Um, I don't know if you mean if the magazine pages get chunky. No, they don't because I'm taking pages out. I don't know what that question means. So if you did ask me that question, let me know below what you meant by that. Because <laughs> I don't know, it's too vague. I don't know what it means. Sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I am a little bit full of cold today as well, so sorry if I'm sniffling and stuff. Um, the next question is, um, where do you store your pages? I store them in here. It's just one of these like craft boxes that you can get. I got this from HomeSense. It was literally like, I'm just going to pull it up a little bit so you can see this. Um, this was like um, um, £4 I think, but I keep all my clippings in here. 
Now, oh my god, sound. Um, so I have two types of storage. So this, this has actually got some Happy Meal in it. I got sent these by Happy Meal, one of my uh, pen pals. How cute, look. It's all in Italian, Beatles and Audrey Hepburn and stuff. Love. Um, but what I do is, as you can see, these are all my clippings. And I don't have any sort of order or anything. I literally just throw them in here. And when I want to come and have a look for something, I'll just come in here and try and pick them out. So I've got loads of different things, like these cactuses I just thought were cute. Um, I've got stuff like this, which, I mean, I probably never use that. I just like the look of it. Um, I've got quirky things like this, um, palm tree, what else have I got in here? Um, that should probably go in here actually. Um, I've got little quirks, which I think are cute. Um, we dive down a little bit more, what else have we got? I just cut out anything that appeals to me. <laughs> this, which I, don't, I mean I don't even know what that is, it's just funky isn't it? Um, lots of modelly people, like girls and stuff, that I think their outfits are cool, like this is pretty nice. Um, what else have we got in here? I mean look at this, this is like, <laughs> it's like made out of plasticine, I just thought that was funky. Um, I usually have lots of food as well, I don't know why I'm not coming across food. Um, these images, which I just think are so nice use them for something. I must have used a lot of my food pictures but I usually have, oh there's one. I have tons of food in here as well. Um, just all sorts of different things. Things that I think are funky and I might use eventually, you know. I don't know. I think that's some flowers. Oh, cookies. There you go. Um, yeah, so that's my box of clippings. There's no real rum or reason with it, rhyme or reason, whatever the word is. I just chuck everything in here <laughs> and I find it nice and easy to look. Then I've also got this, which is kind of like my um, patterned paper collection. So I get I get things that I think could I could use in backgrounds um, and stuff. So like this flowery paper is really cute. Um, this is Henry Moore. No, Henry Moore was a sculpture. Who am I talking about? Mm, Morris. Ah, I can't remember what his name is. Um, but this is a really famous pattern. Um, and yeah, as you can see, these are just ripped out. There's really no kind of thing with this. And I just I keep these if I want to do backgrounds or whatever. And there's all different patterns and colours and stuff. And I think that these are a really good, unique way of actually getting scrapbook paper because scrapbook paper can sometimes be really expensive. So if you do this, can you see? Look at that, it's so funky. Um, and I just, yeah, I just store them in here. It, they go in with, um, with, with that in there. And if I need a, a funky background, then I'll post them on, you know? Also, it's a really good tip to put things into plastic wallets. Fold, gently fold whatever you're putting in, and then open them out, and then they go in really easy. Ta-da! And you can do that with, like, normal paper and stuff as well. <laughs> um, so I'm going to bring you back down again. So, yeah, that's how I store them. Really, really easy just in there. Um, the next one, where do I get my magazines from? All over the place. I get them all over the place. Um, I get a lot of free magazines, which I'm going to talk to you about now. Um, yeah, I get lots and lots of free magazines. So don't be scared by free stuff, you know? Free stuff is great. We love free stuff. <laughs> um, these are some of my favourite things to get, if you can get your hands on them. Sorry the glare is so bad today, I don't know why. Um, I might just go and turn the big light out. Maybe I'm gonna say it has. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are amazing. These Christmas food guides because they're full of pictures of food. And if you like me, I absolutely love um, cutting out pictures of food because I think it's something that we all do, and especially booze as well, bottles of wine and stuff. 
if you're going about being at the pub or going on a night out or whatever, you can use that in your journal. Um, but yeah, I mean, these are fabulous. So I think this is one from last year, actually. It's an Asda one. Um, but I, yeah. I mean, look at that. That's cool. <laughs> so yeah, honestly, anything from supermarkets like this, pick up because they're really good. Go to your local record shops, okay? This is um, a free magazine that you can pick up at local um, record shops in the UK. It is free. This is it there. It's free. Um, and they bring them out every sort of year. Look, this is from 2017. It's well old. Um, also, Kasabian. You don't know who they are? Go listen to them. They're amazing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, this has also got lots of cool images in. Lots of good um, writing that you can cut out. I mean, look at that. That's well funky. Yeah. So that's a really cool thing. Also, it's got about like Reading and Leeds, which is a festival that I go to every year. So that will be good for me to use this year. Um, yeah, stuff like that. This is the journal. This is um, a kind of local magazine as well. Again, it's free um, and it's kind of like papery, but this is really funky and it's got a lot about kind of where I live in it. Um, it's all about Yorkshire stuff, so you can use this and it has in it, you know, things that you might have, places you might have been and stuff and that you can stick in after that. And yeah, you know, again, food really good pictures and stuff and this this is really good to cut out for my background things oh and bundabust i actually went there two days ago so i can stick that in <laughs> see what i mean yeah really funky so look for free stuff and um, this is a free magazine that i cut out loads and um, they give these out weekly outside the train station in Leeds. I think they've given them out in Manchester as well, maybe London, but that's more metro. But look at what free magazines people are giving out on the street, especially during commuting time. So kind of from eight o'clock till 10, there'll be somebody on the street kind of just giving these out. And it's just, it's honestly, it's just a, a free magazine of different things. And um, I've used lots of stuff from here before. The images are really good, the wording's really good. Yeah, so grab one of them. And then these are a couple of magazines that I picked up when I was staying in a hotel. I mean, I've never picked this up usually. It's all about um, posh houses and stuff. <laughs> and it's mainly adverts, but I just picked it up because I thought, well, I can cut some of these pictures out. Um, and then this is a food one. Again, more food stuff. Um, that I can use for something as well. So yeah, lots of free places. Um, you know, get them from friends and family. If you have people that read magazines in your family, ask them if you can have them when they're finished with them. Get them from, um, I know some libraries give them out. Have a look at your dentist or your doctors. Um, ask colleagues, but yeah, record shops, any sort of arty shops, you can usually get um, like free little magazines from there. Um, especially like zines and stuff like that. Supermarkets, honestly, yeah, go and get your free supermarket stuff on the street. You know, there's honestly, there's so many places you can get magazines from. Um, the next one is, what are your favourite magazines? So, yeah, I'm going to go through you now what my favourite types of magazines are. So, I've already mentioned it a little bit, but I love food magazines. Um, I pick these up when they're on offer. Only £2. Only £1.50. Because <laughs> um, they're quite expensive usually. Um, but these are just from Sainsbury's, which is a supermarket. And um, it has lots of recipes in. I'll lift it up again. Magic mushrooms. Okay. It's a bit dodgy, but okay. Um, <laughs> Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's just got lots and lots of different pictures of food in and products and stuff. Ugh. Well, that is grim. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just love food pictures. They come in handy for so many things. 
so yeah food magazines you can pick these up just when you're at the tills um you know when you they're kind of like a oh what's the word like a impulse buy section they're usually there where you're just waiting in the queue and then you're like oh i'll grab one of them so yeah food magazines one of my favorites um, Something I've been getting into recently is magazines that are all to do with um, interior design. Now I got these three for seven pounds um, last month, and they came in a set for seven quid, which I thought was pretty good. Um, and the good thing about these is, is that firstly they're massive. And secondly, you can get so much out of these. So you can rip out the pages. As you see, I've ripped out a lot of this. Um, you can rip out the pages for backgrounds. Backgrounds in these sorts of magazines are amazing because it's all the soft furnishings and stuff. So you can rip them out and you've got like scrapbook paper. Um, country living, again. Food, again. Um, pick stuff that you know you're going to use a lot of, you know? Oh, Budapest. Oh, let me live there love it so much um, so I'll cut that picture out because I just love Budapest and I've been two times um, these can be really good again scrapbooky paper you can make them into journals, spots, tags stuff like that Oh, little moo cows sausage dog will love sausage dogs so little dash hound so I'll probably grab him out and yeah, again, just really, really good stuff that you can use in your journals and stuff. And this one again, um, House Beautiful. This one's got some, oh, more food. Lucky me. Um, really, really pretty pictures in. So honestly, yeah, think outside the box. If you wouldn't usually read these, think, can I use them for my journal? And the answer is probably yes. Um, and finally, the question was, um, what are your favourite um, magazines? And these are the answer. So, Breathe, I've only got two here, but I've actually got about six in the house. <laughs> um, and Daphne's Diary. Now, these two, they are a bit pricey. This is £6 um, to buy. And how much was this one? Um, it says it on here. Oh, this was £6 as well. So the £6 each, which sounds expensive for a magazine, but I don't think they're too bad for the stuff you get in it. Now, Breathe is a beautiful magazine. It has... Oh, it's all about mindfulness, really, um, and kind of about travelling and stuff like that. But the pictures in here are amazing for journaling. Um, and it also has lots of stuff about like, kind of doing calligraphy, like little journaling look at that like it's like a drawn out journal page and I first heard a breathe uh, on YouTube yeah the pictures are really really funky and I've gone through these about six times already so this is just stuff that I haven't even noticed yet I mean look at this little clothes hanger and the makeup so cute yeah, I love these. And I get these from, um, you can either pick them up in Sainsbury's or you can pick them up in WH Smith. WH Smith has a really, really good collection of these sorts of magazines. They also sometimes stock Fleur magazine, which I've still not yet bought because I think that one's like £12. And I think that 12 quid for a magazine is a little bit steep. Um, but, you know, it's the same sort of pictures in it and everything. Um, but yeah, honestly, what was I going to say? Big. Yeah, honestly, um, Breathe is a really, really good magazine for pictures. It's it's great. So as you can see, got flowers and stuff. Oh, so nice. So yeah, this is my favourite, I think, my ultimate favourite. But then I also love Daphne's Diary, which I'm quite new to. I've only got this one copy. Um, but this is really, really quirky. I feel like if I had a magazine, it would look something like this. Um, it's got like little stories in it, and uh, it comes with scrapbook paper and stuff in the pages. Um, this had stickers with it that I've just used. Um, it's also it's paper, so it's not real glary. Um, I can use this. This is a bloody um, pixel 
thing which I can cut out and stick in my journal because I, I used to do this but I couldn't bother to draw it out so that's done photocopy it you've got it then you know for your journal uh, popsicles ice lollies again more scrapbook paper and yeah these are really easy to pick up people think that they're not but honestly go to your WH Smith near you and you'll be able to pick this up okay so yeah that is um, all the questions that I got asked um, to do with magazines. I hope this has helped you out a little bit. Sorry I've been a little bit lethargic today. I just feel a bit full of cold, like I'm coming down with something. But I hope that I've answered your questions and you've enjoyed it. If you've got any more questions, let me know. Leave them down below. I will answer them in a journal with me or something. Um, or I'll just reply to your comment. Either way, um, I'll answer and get back to you. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. You all take care. Love you lots. 